As your list of reminders keeps on growing, it can be hard to effectively prioritize and take action on what's most important. This is where the power of time blocking can help. What if you could schedule time throughout your day to work on your reminders, to create your ideal daily plan synced with your calendars? What if you could also combine this with tasks from other apps you might be using for work or for other projects? And lastly, what if you could create optimized schedules using AI to prioritize your most important tasks across the key areas of your life? This is where a powerful planning app like Morgan comes in. I'm John from the Morgan team, and in this video, I'm excited to show you how you could do everything I just mentioned with our new Apple Reminders integration. Now, without any further ado, let's see how you can start time blocking your reminders. So looking at my reminders, you can see that I have a few of them organized by different lists, which represent the different areas in my life. I have one for work-related reminders, one for personal, and one for any projects that I'm working on. And if I go to settings, preferences, calendars, you can see that I've connected my personal calendars, which are in Google, alongside my work calendars, which are on Outlook. Next, we'll need to set up the local integration. We can select Apple Reminders under local integrations, and we can connect it by clicking on this button. It will ask us to grant permission to Morgan to access reminders, so we can press allow, and we should get a pop-up saying that it's connected. Now, if we go back to the main view, we can see that we now have the Apple Reminders tab at the top of our sidebar. Have our reminders organized based on the due dates, but then we also can see them organized by lists the same way we see them in the app. And if we look at each task, we can see things like the list it's from, the priority, as well as the due date. And you can also see the due dates on the calendar in the all day section as well, or on the calendar if they have a specific time associated with it. And of course, we can personalize this view to our liking. If I click on the view button up here, you can change the grouping of your reminders. So right now we have a group by list, but I could change it to priority. And then I could create subgroupings like list. If I open it up, you can see that we can see the list it's from here, but I personally prefer keeping them as a list. Also change the ordering and we can hide certain groups that we don't wanna see on the sidebar, as well as any labels that we might not care for. But I think these are all important. So now that we have our reminders fully synced, let's start time blocking. First, let's plan my work day. Don't mind the, uh, the 3 a.m. wake up time. I'm in Canada and Morgan is in Switzerland, so the hours are a bit rough. <laughs> but beyond the work related reminders, I also have Linear integrated, which has all of the development related tasks I'm working on. If I click on the filter icon in the top right and filter out these specific tasks. So Apple Reminders will be work and Linear will be things in progress. We can now see all the important things that we'll need to do across both apps. And we can sort this. Right now it's sorted by the Morgan Priority Factor, which recommends us the most important tasks to complete based on the due date and priority levels. And it makes sense because I have this task which has the highest priority and is due today. And it's the first thing on the list. So this is a good way of just instantly knowing some urgent things you might need to work on. So for this task, I can move it to any open time on my calendar and I can readjust it to fit the allotted time. In this case, I have been technically working on the Apple Reminders video, so I've extended it all the way to the end of this free space. We can also change the calendar it's in to the correct one. In this case, it will be work. There we go. I'm just gonna continue on with the rest of the day. In this free time, I will schedule time to work on emails. I need to change the calendar there. And then I'll wanna spend time coding to take a break from the video related stuff. So I will work on this small task and work on this task after, until lunch. After my work, I would like to work on some personal tasks. So I'm going to clear these filters and go to my personal list here. What's nice about Morgan is if you already know around how much time a reminder will take, 
you can add it in the title like I have been doing. And it will automatically use that time when scheduling your day. So 30 minutes to clean my desk. And then I also want to spend some time learning. So I'll schedule that on there as well. And when it comes to projects, I can drag this over. As you can see, the three hours is turned into a time block for three hours, but I do want to keep it shorter than my night routine. And with that, I now have a plan I can follow and start completing throughout the day. I can start checking things off like this Apple's reminders video, get some nice little confetti to celebrate the win. And if I check reminders, we can see in the completed section that the task is completed. And then for something like a daily task that's recurring, like this learning task, if I complete it, we can see that we now have the task for tomorrow on our calendar as well as on the sidebar. And if we check reminders, we can see that today's habit was completed. But as I showed in the beginning of the video, we can level up our planning even more by using Morgan's AI Planner. If you're finding yourself overwhelmed with all the things you could be doing, then this helps you overcome planning paralysis by helping you decide which tasks are most important to complete. And to use the AI Planner, I'll have to show you how you can automatically schedule your day using frames, which are special slots in our calendar that helps us prioritize these certain life areas we have. So let's create frames for the rest of my weekday. If I zoom out to the weekly view, I want to be able to automatically plan what I just did for today for the rest of my week. So first we can create a frame for work. I'm going to select this entire area and turn it into a frame, call it work. And then just like how we selected them in the filter view up there, we could choose the same filters for this frame. And when we save, it automatically repeats it for the rest of the weekday by default. And now I'm just going to copy this and then paste it for the next one. Make sure that it repeats every weekday and then make sure it goes until the end of the schedule. Oops, I meant to repeat that for all occurrences. For my personal time block, I can create another one, call it personal, and then set up the personal list I have in reminders as the filter as well as change this to personal. So save this, there we go. And then last one will be for my projects. Change this, projects, and then change the filter to projects as well and save. Now to run the AI planner, we can just go to the first frame, click this button right here, and it'll automatically generate a schedule within the frames based on the filters and tasks we have. Notice that these are just suggestions on how to plan the day. We still have a chance to review its suggestions and make changes before confirming these scheduled slots onto our calendars. So looking through, this is pretty good. My highest priority task is recommended first. Then it automatically suggests me to just work on this long task that I have. What's nice about the EA planner is that it also automatically accounts for pre-scheduled events, so it doesn't cover those. It actually breaks up this longer task into multiple events. And then if I check out the rest of my slots, I didn't have any personal tasks left, so this is kind of empty. If I want, I can even extend this a bit. And for my projects, uh, this looks pretty good. I might even want to ignore this task and just have more time on my 2024 tax report. So yeah, there's also other settings you could choose. You can plan more days ahead change the default duration, schedule tasks with no due date, which I have enabled. With this extra time here, I might even consider looking at any of these tasks that weren't able to be scheduled for the day, like this one. Once that's done, we can click schedule all. As you can see, our schedule now has all of these tasks. So as you've seen, Morgan empowers you to effectively time block your reminders if you want to start creating your own ideal daily plans, you can start trying this local integration out now by downloading the app on our website 